This is very important diagnosis in psychoanalysis and it's completely different from the diagnosis you see in psychiatry. Because in psychiatry, you have to diagnose following very closely with symptoms. So you're getting into nuances of what things look like. For example, you're gonna prescribe a certain medication that works well with depression and anxiety. So I'm gonna look at all of your behavioral symptoms and get them down to certain points to get as closely as I can to give you the medication that will work for that biology. And even then it's a very inexact science and all of you know, been to psychiatrists, it's gonna take a while to get to the medication because no one is like you. There is no one single disorder we, we go from one to the other, we may have little bits. It's, it's extraordinary how different everybody is. So the, so this, the psychiatric uh, diagnosis is immediate and very uh, guesstimation, whereas the psychoanalytic diagnosis can take years to come to. We may find what's known as underlying disorders that just emerge after certain years of analysis and then you get to different layers and you progress. I myself started with a, a psychotic disorder when I was a child. Then I moved up into um, an impulse disorders and addictive disorders. Then I moved into a depressive disorder, uh, then into an anxiety disorder as I climbed the ladder into uh, f finding my relationship to my impulses and my higher brain to become what we call integrated, to be able to think through everything and not be disturbed. So uh, I hope this is helpful. Write in the comments below so everybody can enjoy your mind um, for discussion. Bye.